Greetings. Welcome to our short little talk on plagiarism. It's very important that we have this talk because there's this growing sense of plagiarism is not really a problem. It is an issue. Uh, when you borrow or take someone else's work, that's cheating. And there are consequences at the college and university level and at high schools as well. And then plagiarism not only is cheating, but it's stealing. As you can see from the Latin, uh, it means to kidnap. So you're actually taking somebody's work, using it as your own, and there are lots of consequences for that. Let's look at some other types of plagiarism. Below are, a li are two lists of the most common types of plagiarism within the categories of intentional and unintentional. But of course, borrowing uh, a friend's work, even if your friend lets you use it, that's still, if you turn that in as your own, that's plagiarism, uh, of course, buying, that sort of thing. The number one issue these days is cutting and pasting from the internet. And even though it's open source information that's available on the web, doesn't mean it's free to use as your own work. It's free to use if you cite the sources. Um, and then other things, um, unintentional is if you're using information from a textbook or from a journal, but you carelessly paraphrase if you don't quote uh, regularly, those sorts of things are also types of plagiarism. As I mentioned earlier, plagiarism has con uh, consequences at all levels of education, and as you can see there are a list of what some things might be, the failure of an assignment, a course, being suspended from school or expelled from school. So these are all sorts of uh, the consequences. You can figure out what they are by checking your student handbook or looking on the school website. As I mentioned in a previous slide, the internet has allowed people to sort of mistakenly uh, take the idea that they can copy and paste information, and that's the largest source of plagiarism these days. Also, the internet works for the uh, instructors and universities. There are numerous sites like Turnitin, Grammarly, and the, the like that allow us to take papers and to analyze them for uh, voice, content, uh, correct quotations, and that sort of stuff to help you, to help us uh, find out if somebody's plagiarized or to help you understand how better not to make those unintentional uh, mistakes in your work. It's worth repeating. As easy is it as it is to copy and paste or borrow someone else's work, these days it's equally as easy to detect plagiarism. Just don't do it. Outside of not copying, pasting, borrowing someone else's work, the other easiest thing to do to avoid plagiarism is to quote, to cite, 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 cite regularly. When in doubt, cite. I'm advocating citing and citing often. Some people, if you're uncomfortable with that, there are usually your um, depending on which class you're in, they'll tell you what style, what format you'll use, if it's MLA, APA, that sort of stuff. There, Those resources are on the internet um, quite widely. Please look those up. Perhaps maybe the, uh, the class that you're in provided a, t a book uh, for that as well. So check out how your class, which format they want to use, and then there are tons of sources available for you to make sure that when you cite, that you cite properly. Once again, just want to say plagiarism is a serious matter. Consequences can be very serious. It's easy to avoid plagiarism by not co copying and pasting, by not borrowing, and by citing properly. Um, again, please see your sources for how to cite properly. If you're uncomfortable with the whole writing process, here's an a outstanding website that has numerous resources to help you with writing, whether it's an essay, a research paper, or the like. But again, use your resources. Take the time. It's much easier than trying to rust through and borrowing work that then will lead to some situation that you really don't want to be involved in. Thanks so much. Bye.